welcome back guys right now you can grab the pc versions of limbo and tiny tina's wonderlands for absolutely free from epic games website in this video i'll be testing the latter on my windows pc that has a ryzen 5700x 3d processor and an rtx 2070 super gpu tiny tina's wonderlands is an action role playing first person shooter developed by gearbox software it's a spin-off in the borderlands series and a sequel to tiny tina's assault on dragon's keep the game is set within the world of a fantasy theme tabletop role playing game now this game comes with fsr version 2 upscaler it does not support dlss upscaler i'll be showing you how to enable dlss 4 upscaler in conjunction with fsr frame generation i'll be using dlss 2 mod to replace the in-game fsr upscaler with dlss upscaler this mod is uploaded by potato of doom on nexus mods just need to have a free nexus mods account in order to download any stuff from here click on files click on manual download Download the latest version of the mod, 0.5. Click on slow download. We'll be using an older version of OptiScaler mod in order to enable FSR frame generation in this game as the latest version of the mod was causing the game to crash. Using version 0.7.0 previous 66 can be downloaded for free from OptiScaler's GitHub. I'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .7z link here. DLSS 2 mod comes with an older version of DLSS subscaler. I'll be manually updating it to the latest version. At the time of recording this video, it's version 310.2.1. Download the latest upscaler DLL from TechPowerWorks website. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. We just need to set the model preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of DLSS 4. I'll be verifying these details using DLSS debug overlay. In order to activate this overlay, I'll be executing the registry code provided by Emos. Copy these lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change its extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file, right click, open with, click on notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay. If you want to disable it, just replace the number 4 here with 0. Like this. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll just reword the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Select, right click, open. Yes, ok, that's it. Now I'll be installing DLSS mod for the game. Open the mods archive file, open OKM folder, open binaries folder, bin64 folder, copy all of the files present inside this folder. Now open the games install directory, go to your epic games library, click on the three dots below the games box art, click on manage, click on the folder icon here, next to installation, this will open the games install directory, open OKM folder, open binaries folder, open bin64 folder paste the files here you can check the version of dlss subscaler it's version 3.1.11 i'll manually update it to the latest version open the upscaler's archive file copy this dll file nvngx underscore dlss open the games install directory open o game folder open binaries folder win64 folder replace the older version of dlss with the latest version replace highlight the file that's the latest version now I'll install OptiScaler mod. Open the mods archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Three of them. Open the games install directory. Open OGame game folder. Open binaries folder. Open bin64 folder. Paste the files here. And just change the name of nvngx.dll file to dxgi.dll. That's it. The mod has been installed. Now it's not a mandatory requirement to enable hardware related GPU scheduling setting for using OptiScale FSR frame generation but if you have an RTX GPU it's recommended to use this setting. Right click anywhere on the desktop, click on display settings, click on graphics, click on advanced graphics settings, from here enable hardware related GPU scheduling setting. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now I'll enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Click on manage 3D settings. Click on program settings. From this drop down bar, select Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Scroll down until you find low latency mode setting. Just set it to ultra. Scroll down to the end. From here, just enable vSync. 
click on apply my monitor is gsync compatible i'll enable the corresponding settings for it click on setup gsync here enable the following settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model i'll also enable gsync compatible indicator setting this step is optional click on display here and check this setting gsync compatible indicator we are ready to run the game Make sure no third party overlay like Afterburner or RTSS is running in the background. I'll just use NVIDIA's performance overlay to show you the performance metrics. RTSS can affect the proper functioning of OptiScaler Hardfix. At startup, shaders will get compiled, help in reducing stuttering. The game uses Unreal Engine 4. We are in. Your DLSS debug overlay is working. This means DLSS mod work. In game settings, just make sure graphics API is set to DirectX 12. OptiScale FSR frame generation is not compatible with DirectX 11. This game supports it. Full HD resolution. Resolution scale 100% VSync off. No FPS cap applied. I am using the Ultra preset. Disable a few post processing effects. Camera motion blur. Object motion blur. Make sure in game FSR 2 upscaler is enabled using its quality preset. Sharpness level set to 0.3. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. From this drop down bar, make sure DLSS upscaler is selected. Its version, yeah, it's incorrect. Actual version is 310.2.1. This is an older version of OptiScaler mod. This is why incorrect version of DLSS is shown here. Auto exposure setting is on. Enable the setting by enabling auto exposure setting under init flag section. You can see the change in the DLSS debug overlay. Render preset used is K, version of the upscaler latest. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Click on save Aina here. Our settings will be saved even after a game restart. Alright, we are in. I just passed into a castle, undead. They are after me. Here, FPS is close to 80. We are hitting the GPU bottleneck. Good performance even without frame generation. Image quality is looking very sharp. DLSS 4 transformer model for you. Not observing any stuttering. I'll just enable OptiScale FSR frame generation now. Pause the game. Press the insert keyboard key. Enable frame generation setting. Enable FG hardfix setting. Set the limit value to 1. Do not enable FG extended setting. Enable FG allow async setting as well. I'll show you the debug view. Check this setting. FG debug view. Close. Yeah, there's the debug view. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image except for the DLSS debug overlay. Games interface should not flicker with OptiScale FSR frame generation enabled. Displays are working properly for all of the images. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. Smoothing effect of FSR should work properly. After verifying upscaler's details, you can disable DLSS debug overlay. I'll quickly do this. Disable debug view. Edit the registry file that we created earlier. Just replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Run this registry file. Click on yes, ok. That's it. Load we'll the same sequence. Yeah, FPS is close to 130 now. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Just use my melee weapon. Out of ammo. Yeah, no issues with the performance. Latency is not a problem. Pace FPS is well over 60. That helps. I have enabled ultra low latency mode from NVIDIA control panel and combine it with NVIDIA control panel basing. And this caps the FPS at a value slightly lower than our display's max refresh rate value. For example, my monitor supports up to 240Hz refresh rate. So FPS will get capped at 2 to 5. If your monitor supports 144Hz refresh rate, FPS will get capped at 138. No hard elements are flickering. Even the subtitles are not flickering. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.